Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, I just recently started a blog in regards to Florida, moving to Central Florida. Um, so I did upload a video on pros and cons of moving to Central Florida. Uh, today I'm just gonna give you the top five things uh, you should know about prior to moving to Florida um, that I've either heard, so I kind of was mentally prepared for it, but I, I want you to know some things that I didn't necessarily hear in any other video and that I think you should know. Um, so one thing that you probably already heard is the traffic and again I did I, I went in depth on traffic and how insane it is um, so prepare for traffic mentally prepare for traffic and know that there's no way around it like just prepare for traffic um, Two is car insurance uh, I did come across I think like one or two videos that you know touched on on car insurance and basically said you know car insurance is more expensive because of the accident rates and you know maybe because I didn't hear it as often as I you know as much as I researched that I didn't hear it coming from everyone it didn't really stick to me but when I went to uh, you know register my car here um, I called the insurance um, companies I called mine and then I called several others and car insurance was absolutely ridiculous like what we pay for two cars and our trailer they wanted just for my car so absolutely insane go ahead and look into um, different car insurance now so that you can have a better financial understanding of what you're going to be paying monthly um, with all your living expenses um, three is the electric bill absolutely insane I did talk about that and I went in depth as far as how much we've paid since we moved um, here in May and you can find that in my pros and cons video so again the electric bill uh, number four is schools honestly <clears throat> excuse me the only thing I have to tell you that I didn't know is that I've heard, so sorry, I've heard um, that, you know, Florida schools was not the greatest. Um, so I mentally kind of prepared, like, we, we come from like a smaller town in upstate New York where, you know, the teachers, you basically on like a first name basis and they'll text you, they'll even text you pictures throughout the day, you know, or at the end of the day. They'll call you just to say, hey, like this is what's going on, not anything negative, but just that's how like in tune I was with my daughter's teachers. Um, we were just, the, the relationship was just different over here. You're, you know, it's like swimming in a pond and swimming in an ocean. Think of it like that. Like, um, so schools, if you want to get your kid into like a well-known school that you've researched in your area go ahead and even if it's not in your zone I believe they do I think most schools here or all schools um, do like a lottery so if you're moving in like three months six months whatever that may be go ahead and look into the lottery times and add your child to to the lottery in hopes that they can get in otherwise you'll have to put them in a zone school and then if they do still get into the lottery, like if they're chosen from the lottery, you can, you know, then go ahead and transfer your child. But I know as parents, like the hassle of that. So go ahead and um, look into the schools. Like I said, do the lottery if you have to. Um, and then number five is just the wait times. Um, it seems like everywhere I go, whether it's, you know, doctors, um, <laughs> doctors, schools are insane. Um, to get your car fixed to get gas like everything has a wait line like and I'm in Davenport I'm not even in like Orlando Kissimmee you know Miami I'm not in like those super saturated you know areas but because Davenport is building so fast um, and it could even be uh, again I just moved here um, but I just noticed that everything has a wait line like so just mentally prepare for that. I feel like if you're mentally prepared, I was mentally prepared for the traffic. So when I'm in traffic, as annoying as it can be, I'm like, okay, I knew I was getting into this. And um, there was a, a couple that I watched on moving to Central Florida and why they chose Central Florida. I can't remember their names, but I'll go ahead and find them and, and you know add them to the description if you wanted to watch their videos because I follow them and she kind of had like everything she went through, I'm going through, but because I was able to, as far as the schools, because I was able to, you know, I just had a heads up. So I was mentally prepared. Okay, we are also from a small town and we also have like that great connection and communication with our, you know, with our daughter's teachers. So 
when I heard everything she was going through, I'm like, yeah, to each its own, like, let me, you know, but I was mentally prepared that, hey, it may not be anything like New York. And it's not, but it's not horrible either. Like my daughters, they don't really complain. Like they go to school, they do what they have to do. They, so far five weeks come out today and I've looked up their grades. All of them are straight A students. Um, but again, I just, the communication with the school themselves and any concerns that you have, I have had issues already and I have concerns and I have yet to receive a phone call back from both schools. Um, and I'm not a helicopter mom, but I am a very, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm very in tune with my kids and any concerns that they have uh, or that I have, I, I do reach out so that we can build a uh, communication with the, with the schools. But um, just mentally prepare that it may be different, maybe better for you, depending on your area, maybe worse. Um, but I'm kind of in the middle. Both the schools that my kids attend, um, both the high school and bridge prep, they're brand new schools. So Davenport High School was just built last year and Bridge Prep Academy is brand new, like open probably three days before school actually started. Um, so I know that it's kind of like a lear learning curve for all of us, for both you know the staff and the students. So I'm kind of giving it time. And again, I came in with an open mind that it may be different, but I'm going to adapt and make the best out of it. So again, those are the top five things I think you needed to hear. And if you have any questions in regards to Davenport, if that's the area that you're looking into, I don't mind driving around. And you know, um, I'll go ahead and upload some things that there is to do here indoors because it gets so hot if you're used to being outdoors with your kids. Um, August, July and August was pretty, pretty hot where you can't go to the parks. Like there's just no, no going to the parks, <laughs> too hot. But there are indoor things that you can do. There's a science museum. Uh, you know what, I'll do another video and things to do um, with your kiddos. Um, so endless amount of things, don't get discouraged. I'm telling you so far, I love Davenport, still don't regret anything. I love Florida, I should say, still don't regret anything. Um, again, that's just the top five things you should know before moving. Have a great day, guys, bye.